huge welcome home homewarming update has just been released and the website is officially back up. <laughs> I am so excited for this. You guys have no idea. I've been stalking Twitter like all day. Also, fit check. Oh my gosh, I'm falling. I was going for a bit of Wally Darling core, if you couldn't tell. But seriously, this update has been in the works for so long. And oh my gosh, I just already know it's gonna be fan freaking tastic. If you guys are new to Welcome Home or are a bit behind on like the past updates and the lore in the past updates, I do have a playlist on my channel with all of my Welcome Home videos where I go through each and every secret in the Welcome Home updates thus far. And you guys have already probably guessed by the title and you know, probably you can figure out where I'm going with this. <coughs> I inhale too much air. <coughs> I'm okay. But today we're gonna be checking out the new update and trying to find every little secret that is hidden within. And there's gonna be a lot of squealing in this video because I will say right here, I'm going to be fangirling throughout this entire thing. All right, I came equipped with headphones because I've heard that there are some audio clips in this update. Okay, so I am now on a clown's Twitter. So almost an hour ago, clown posted, happy homewarming to you and yours. And then there's a little teaser that says, happy homewarming, dig in. And then there's a link to the website. I'm so excited. So if you didn't know, homewarming is basically like the Christmas in the Welcome Home universe. I'm very excited. I'm clicking on the link. I'm doing it. Ah! Oh my gosh. Home looks adorable. Look at the little hat and the little scarf. All right, let's see. Anything on this page? No, let's get into this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so a lot changed. There's a ton of new stickers. Oh my gosh, the outfit. <gasps> I'm obsessed. Nothing new here. Let's see. Website updates. Happy homewarming. Is that a clickable thing? Happy homewarming. You read that right. The winter season is upon us, dear neighbor. I wish it wasn't. I really hate winter. And those of us at the Welcome Home Restoration Project team want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you. You might think this place looks a little different too. Fret not. We've decided to clean up our lovely home and get rid of all of those nasty bugs. Okay, so all of the clickable bugs from the last update are gone now. That's... That is interesting. It sounds as if the Welcome Home Restoration team didn't purposely put those bugs there, so someone else was doing it. They kind of like exterminated the bugs, if you will. I will go more into this later, specifically on the relationship between the Welcome Home Restoration team, website employees, and the neighbors. So that you can enjoy our findings of Welcome Home in Peace. Finally, we're also happy to announce that we've uncovered a beautiful array of gifts just in time for the holidays. We hope you feel the spirit of the season through our labor of love. As always, visit our news page for a wordier ramble. Ho, ho, ho. So let's double check just to make sure there's no clickable things here. I don't think there is. I guess we'll start with the news page then. We'll see what that's all about. Happy homewarming to one and all. How long has it been since we've kept you updated on our most recent findings? Too long, I hear you say, just too long. But it has only been two months since we've last introduced our findings, so we believe we are making a lot of progress at a very good pace. If you have already pursued our merry little website, then you must have noticed our grand array of newly uncovered merchandise, toys, cookbook pages. Oh my gosh, me and my sister tried the cookbook pages. We actually did a video on it. Oh, that was really fun and I need to do more. And above all more intact vinyl records. We never thought we would see the day to have so many recordings straight from our favorite neighborhood. Home has never been sweeter to us, maybe even sweeter than a box of special holiday frosted crispy sweets. Where can I buy it? That sounds amazing. Speaking of homes, we have newly renovated our beautiful house. The website now clean of clutter, glitches, and bugs has never looked better. So again, they're trying to get rid of any abnormalities that are being caused by the entities in Welcome Home. I see you. I see you. Don't you feel at peace exploring these pages? I feel a little bit scared because everything is too calm and that means something's gonna happen. Free from worry, free from prying eyes. There are the eyes again. We're looking out for you, neighbor, just as you would look out for us. We want you to be as happy as we are. We have a joke for you. Do you know how Barnaby might prepare a pit for a flower's root so they bloom in the spring? He digs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is all for news. We want our findings to speak for themselves. We've updated other information here to coincide accordingly. As Howdy would say, have a holly jolly holiday hullabaloo. Don't forget to wave up high. Ho, ho, ho. Wait, why are we waving up high? What does that mean? Sussy. Sussy baka. Someone please take away my camera. Okay, so now there's another update. Mistake. I apologize about the date on the most previous news post. I assumed it was still December. I'm not sure how this could have happened. Is that lore chat? The individual who posted this must not have been paying proper attention. Please pay no mind. Have a wonderful day. Happy spring. Almost as good as homewarming. Please remember to wave. Okay. We got anything new to click on here. I'm like, I'm like in the zone. I'm ready to click on things. What about us? Did anything... What's that? Ah, uh, what's that? 
Okay, so I did scroll down on the About Us page and now there's a message that says, this isn't the same website as before. Why did you move it? And a little thingy thing, but you can't click it. That's so odd. Oh, that was horrifying. What was that? I don't think that was the website. I think that was just the computer crying for help. Okay, so I think majority of this is the same except when you get down here. Since this website's creation and our most recent burst in attention, we have been graciously given more material by our unknown source. That's not sus at all. We have also begun receiving large boxes smothered in similar substances. They are poorly put together with tape, with yarn, with more paper. Sometimes the items inside have been smashed, other times they are beautiful and pristine. We want to make sense of it. I wonder if they are watching us. If you are reading this, I promise we will take care of it. This is so odd. Is Are the puppets sending them? So then why did you make this website? I hope that this website would grab the attention of someone who has seen this show before and could tell us more about it. If this wasn't possible, then we wanted to be the first to showcase this lost piece of media to help spur on the search for its existence. Many of our guest book signatures have talked about seeing the show before, so this is a good sign. It means it is inside of you too then and urge to find it our efforts won't be in vain so then under this isn't the same website as before why did you move it we don't want to alarm you but we believe there's someone trying to stop us or make light of our efforts we apologize to those who saw our website before the move we have been berated by curious messages in our guest book and within the code of the site itself the items found have been mocking unpleasant and disruptive in their presentation i am unsure why anyone would do this but we are dedicated to continuing to archive and upload our findings we have since recreated our website in what we feel to be a cleaner and more maintained space with heightened security oh my goodness wait actually i was worried about things not being clickable but if you open the little pngs in a new tab you get a letter so i'm assuming we're gonna have to spell something out all right okay I'm picking up what you're putting down. Do you know how many episodes of Welcome Home there are? Unfortunately, no. We have yet to receive footage from the show itself, nor a full catalog of any of the episodes. We have estimated that the last air date of the show was 1974, but only because it is the most recent date listed on a script sent to us. Okay. The numbers are so hard to read, sometimes I can't see them. Okay, that's... Uh, pleasant. Do you know anyone who worked at the Playfellow workshop or are you a former employee? No and I am not affiliated with the company. That's what they all say. That's what they all say. But we do know of Ronald Dora Lane. He must be the creator. We will find other names too, okay? Are we able to join your team? Yeah, I want to join the team. You won't be accepting new members. All right then. My dreams have been crushed. Okay, this is a PNG. We need to open this. Open image and new tab. I forgot they could do that. That's an A. Oh, frick you guys. This is crazy. Not frick you guys, but like, holy frick you guys. Look at this. Not for you. <laughs> Where was I before? I was in news. This is something new. This is, need to open that in T. Okay, okay. Nothing else, nothing else. So we need to go back to where we started. Open an image, a new tab. Okay, okay, M, right? Okay, then there's one here. So let's see, open an image, a new tab. So then another M or was another A? Oh gosh, I'm gonna have to unscramble words. Not good at that. <laughs> we just went to about us. We went to news, we're at this page. Okay, uh, where to next? Let's go to the neighborhood. Did anything change here? That looks slightly different. Also, Santa. Ah, new drawing. Okay, this is exciting. Oh, I'm gonna have so much fun unscrambling this. Okay, I think people pointed this out on the, like, previous website setup, but Wally's description is the only one in present tense. Wally is the most prominent character, but everyone else was like, Poppy was, Eddie was. So that's something to think about. Okay, so I think there was only one PNG. Okay, let's go to merchandise because I really do want to see the cookbook and everything new that was mentioned. Oh my gosh, we got a lot. Oh, oh my gosh, it's the one piece. Is that corn? <laughs> Is he made out of corn? Are there actual recipes? Please, please tell me. I'm gonna sob uncontrollably. Let's see, okay, so we have the Halloween ones. Which I did. I did the Halloween ones. I did that one, actually, specifically. I didn't do the other one. What is this? What is this? Homewarming? What is this? Hot dog? There are so many ways to dress up your hot dog for the holidays. Is it just hot dogs? The macaroni dog? Is it li the popcorn? Are you freaking? Is it literally just hot dogs? The peas dog? What? The peppermint dog. That looks interesting. The hot cocoa, the cube dog. <laughs> the hot dog friend.
The Holly Jolly Dog. What is that glorious creation? Frank, frankly, single pea in gelatin. <laughs> I love this. A single pea on a plate. Having a get together. Consider inviting more peas to the party. This 110 page full color cookbook. There's 110 pages. All right, so there's the welcome home wish book. A complete catalog for the convenience of your holiday shopping, wonderful gift ideas, fair prices, and high quality products off one phone call away. <gasps> Stop. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. These are so cute. Also, the part to be slinky. Someone please make that a reality. <gasps> I need the clock. These big lift. Oh my gosh. Fun in your frown. Single. Bring home Marlo Records. Okay, Marlo Records is another name I guess we need to look out for. And there is another PNG. So let's go ahead and open that. A new tab. So at this moment, I'm thinking I really should be opening a Google Doc and writing these things down. Finding the perfect gift for a loved one during the holiday season couldn't be easier with the Welcome Home Wish Book. This holiday gift catalog was chock full of shiny new toys and games that could be ordered via mail and form and delivered right to your doorstep. From wind up toys to emergency joke kits, one was sure to have their Christmas shopping list checked off in little to no time at all. In addition to the recovered wish book cover and pages, we were able to find a portion of what appears to be a radio advertisement starring Santa himself. <gasps> oh my goodness. Which you can listen to below. This ad makes mention of several toys and games that were not featured in our uncovered pages, leaving us all with hope. There's more left to find. All right, besties, let's go. We're about to hear Santa. Have you guys been good children this year? Are you gonna get stuff for Christmas? Oh my gosh. Ate that up. Santa, where'd you go? Santa dipped. Santa, Santa dipped. All right, I took a short break to snack on some candy. Also, side note, but the voice actors are freaking popping off. But are we surprised because they've always been popping off? It's so good. Okay, so I think the next thing we have is the home warming? Yeah, the home warming storybook. Okay. Home warming is just around the corner and Wally Darling can't seem to find out how to make his festivities extra special. With the help of Barnaby and Home, can Wally uncover the reason for the season? <gasps> Enjoy a special rendition of Toyland sung by resident sweetheart Wally Darling. Just listen until the end. Okay. How do you celebrate homewarming? With the help of his best friend Barnaby B. Beagle, our own Wally Darling is trying to find out before the big homewarming party in this charming holiday storybook by Marlo Records. Based on this discovery and accompaniment with past items such as Eddie's Big Lift and Happy Haunting Taboo and Yours, it would appear Marlo regularly produced and sold storybook records based on the holidays of home, sometimes in partnership with other groups such as Crispy Sweets. Imagine what other silly seasonal shenanigans we may find in the future. Oh, I'm excited. In addition to this heartwarming homewarming story, the album includes a special rendition of Toyland sung by Wally Darling himself. We have been able to recover this audio for your listening pleasure below. Okay, let's go. Even through all their efforts, Wally stood at home's front steps, downtrodden and worried. So many Aww. thoughts were running through his little head. Most of all was if any of these things made home happy. Bro just called Wally's head little. Barnaby, why do I feel sad? I don't know, though, but Somebody give the poor boy a hug. I don't know. Mm. Aww. I think I might know. So, follow me on this one, kid. But I think you're sad, because you think none of this stuff made home happy. Oh, you're following me too, right? 
home, open and close his front doors Aww. to make a sound of affirmation. The fire, the presence, the lights, the tinsel. Barnaby's great. Love Barnaby. You think none of this works, right? Yes. I don't think this is working. Well, I think you're right. You do? Oh. I do. How come? Because so I think everybody in this place was right and wrong. How can that be? What the frick? The house is warm, or even if the house looks good. Home made a creaking sound as if to let out an indignant puff. Hey, I wasn't saying you wasn't a good looking house. Trust me on this. What I'm saying is this home warming is about spending time with your home. All that stuff we did was stuff we did with each other. That's what home warming is meant to do, little buddy. To warm you up from the inside out. Home let out a low sound as if to insist it in agreement with Barnaby. Yes, that is exactly it. Finally, you have realized. Oh, then that means... Yes, Sir Rewalls, that means we could have been doing this from the beginning. A happy home warming it was. Home let out a sound of joy and hugged the both of them with his front door. Everything was perfect. So perfect, in fact, that Wally had no doubts that the homewarming party tonight would be the best they've ever had. With holiday cheer brimming in all three of their hearts, they went inside a home and continued their preparation. <laughs> what on earth? There's like... There's talking, though. There's like talking behind it, but I couldn't quite make it out. Okay, so Wally's... Wally's toiling. Also, that was freaking great. Like, seriously? You can tell there's so much work and love that goes into these updates. I mean, the voice actors, the the writing, just amazing. Toyland, Toyland, to interrupt but me dancing went on for another 10 seconds and i don't think you really wanted to see that for another 10 seconds but after i was done listening to the beautiful joyous song that is toyland by wally darling i decided i should probably go look around the website for other little pngs so i could unscramble that message so i put all of the letters i could find in a doc and here was the result i did try and put it in an unscrambling website and i didn't get any results However, a few minutes passed, and this is what I discovered. Okay, so apparently, thank you, Smutsuki, for posting this in the Welcome Home chat, but there's a decoder for all of the little pictures that I've been opening in the different tabs. I, I didn't need to do that, apparently. Okay, so the letters have been unscrambled, and it leads to a website. Thank you, Twitter. I found it out that way. I was literally going through the letters and I was like, huh? And I went to a decoder and the decoder gave me not what this was, but we have a website now. I'm very excited for this because this is very lore heavy. You all are not ready for this. So the website is www.awayfrompryingeyes.net. And I kind of figured it had something to do with a website after seeing the www. But here we are, awayfrompryingeyes.net. Hello, if you have found this page, thank you. It shouldn't have been that difficult to arrive, but it would take effort to get here regardless. The Welcome Home Restoration Project is a unified effort that first launched in January 2022. The goal seemed so small for the website. It was to uncover Welcome Home fully and to tell its story. It needed me. I needed it. Everyone started to look at us. You want this as badly as I do. I know you do because you come here again and again to see what I found. Wait, is this... The question answerer? <gasps> Wait, stop. I was sure the end was in sight or at least served as the beginning of it, but since then nothing has made sense to me. No one has come forward or provided leads and dead ends have since piled up. Nothing from our curator who has since recovered. I don't know what happened to them to become so unwell to create that page. What has arrived, however, has felt truly upsetting. For something on the old website, we have since remodeled, but everything still feels burned into my mind. 
videos, texts, crude drawings, invading this space that had been created. I felt nauseous when I found it. I was paranoid too, more so than I had ever been. I have been working so diligently to achieve this goal. It's been such a long time. It's been almost four years publicly and I've yet to truly find it. So much sacrifice, focus, and time. So I created this website to catalog these findings along other unconventional recoveries of Welcome Home and its material. I wanted to document this without upsetting individuals who look hopefully at Welcome Home and our efforts. I don't want our contributor to find it. I don't know if this is them. How could it be? Still, it is better to archive what has shown up rather than destroy it outright. I want to make sense of why they would do this. I want to write about how I've been feeling too. I have no one to write to. If something happens to me, it will be like nothing had happened at all. Our latest update. I hadn't realized so much time had passed. It is already March of 2024 when I write this. So much has rotted in my home since then. I don't want that to happen again. I will update as regularly as I can. The website is clean now. Nothing should be in there and I'll make sure it won't happen again. Please give me time as I upload and archive everything on the website from before. Thank you so much for finding this. Don't forget to wave up high from somebody signed W. Huh. Okay. This is evidence. Broken phone. I keep tinkering with the welcome home toy phone, or rather I have been playing with it. It plays everything as it should. The only button that consistently changes is Wally's, which either doesn't play at all or warbles out something incorrectly. Today it rang for me. Is this the employee? Is this the employee that unalived in the summer update? Today it rang for me. Sometimes it will do this. I assume a button must be jammed to consistently play that noise. Instinctively I answer it, but nothing will come out. I have caught myself saying hello into the receiver in the past, but I've stopped now. This time, however, audio started playing on it that shouldn't be playing. I was so worried it was in my head again, but I have proof that it wasn't. Here's the audio. You can hear Wally too, can't you? I was hoping we were gonna get more about the employee. Let's hear it, let's hear it, let's hear it, okay. Hello, hello, I'm calling to wish you a happy home warming from oh me gosh. and home. So odd. Okay, he's singing from the update. He still sounds amazing, though. Could the record stop? Was that better? I've been practicing. I'm trying to get better at singing. Did you like it? Yeah, it was good. I wish I knew, but you still won't tell me anything. Oh, it's so quiet. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. Everyone's usually so busy. So, it's just me and home for a- He's so sad. He's so sad. But, I still like home warming. Everyone likes mm. home warming. I don't want to end this call. We got a lot to talk about, man. We'll get ready for home warming. Barnaby okay. will be here soon. I have to go. Re oh, wait. Until you hear me again, keep your smile merry. Will do. And always know that I love you very much. Thank, thank you. Love you too. Bye. Bye bestie. Okay, so thoughts first off this can't be the same employee from the summer update because this was logged like today this was logged today this website was logged from someone today so it can't be the employee from the past website but it seems like the same thing that happened in the summer update is happening to this employee uh they're starting to hear the phone calls and this seems to be happening this is like what's actually happening behind the scenes of the stuff that's on the update because it's lining up I guess because Barnaby's coming over and that was like the whole conversation with Barnaby about trying to make home warming like so good so that's for sure something to think about broken phone commercials 
All right, what is, what is, what's going on here? Okay. Holy crow, that's a 22 minute video of commercials. What the frick? Whatever I found is remarkable. It feels like a miracle. When the website first launched, I had found something playing from a very old television in my home. I was compelled to turn it on. I could see something, I could hear it too, but I had nothing to record it with. I would occasionally turn the television on. I don't know why, I think I could hear or see something. Finally, last year in the summer, I had taken a photo and listed to dialogue that I believed to be from the show itself. I felt like an idiot, I hadn't recorded anything. I was so entranced by what I was seeing. That was in the update, wasn't it? Since then, I hadn't turned it off. I wouldn't let that mistake happen to me again. If I keep watching and listening, I knew something would come back. I was finally rewarded in December. The channel it appeared on didn't make any sense, but I didn't care. Video evidence and audio started playing, one after the other. I've captured and compiled together whatever I could find. I can't make sense of anything. Older television felt strange to me anyways. Be wary of flashing lights, loud sounds, and strange audio. Okay, let's look through this. Paul, we- <gasps> Animation! Really? The effort that went to this is freaking insane. Are you kidding? Okay, okay, I'm coming. And so Sally Starlet and Eddie Deer make their way to home together. Oh gosh. This from inside home? What is going on? Mr. Deer? Mr. Deer, are you listening? Okay, so Eddie's like freaking out and there's like this according to the transcripts there's like this heartbeat sound that keeps like appearing through everything Where? Eddie. eddie's like eddie's disoriented for sure the art is beautiful by the way Warming to one and all. <laughs> and that's how it ends? That is so odd. Okay, so a heartbeat just gets louder and louder throughout the thing. I'm just, I'm like looking through and like lining it up with everything I watched. I'm wondering if this has something to do with like souls. Admittedly, I'm frustrated. I feel distraught. When I finally fell asleep, no more video or audio ever returned. What could have been seen made me feel sick. To record so little took so much work. When footage would disappear, I would have to move to another channel where another would appear and then disappear again. I knew I had to stop it. I was too exhausted and I was tired of waiting through hours of static just to find another commercial. I don't know how this was happening, but the show never appeared beyond clips of Eddie Deer. I didn't want to post this publicly on the Welcome Home Restoration Project site, at least not yet. I can't stomach anything that's happening. Okay, and then more soon. Okay, let's take a minute to just process everything that just happened. Cause oh my goodness. Ah! Okay, for starters, I know I fangirled about this like throughout the entire video, but I am absolutely in love with all of the new, you know, welcome home TV show content that we got this update. So many new videos, so many new audios, and they all were absolutely amazing. The art was absolutely beautiful. Everyone who contributed to it, like, uh, you guys are so talented. So in terms of lore, we just got a whole lot more this just got so much deeper. Holy freaking goodness. From my understanding, the Welcome Home Restoration team is trying to shut down any communication from entities on the Welcome Home Restoration website. They completely took down the guest book, which is what people were using to communicate with Wally. So they don't want any of that. And listen, this makes so much sense with the past few updates we have been getting. Where what I believed happened is the Welcome Home Restoration team was trying to leave instructions for the entity on Welcome Home so that they could understand what it's capable of. Now, flash forward to this update, they've made changes to the website. They've messed with some code to make sure that nothing ever gets through on the website. Again, there is no more communication. Which brings me to my next point. You know, normally these little PNGs and little clickable items are left by Wally Darling or, you know, another character on the website. However, now that this like new website code has been, you know, updated, these little pictures are from whoever is running the prying eyes. Page. And I believe that's another employee who is going through the same thing that the employee from the summer update went through. They are being taunted by the entities that are haunting Welcome Home. Which brings me to my next question. 
why? Why is this happening to several different employees on the Welcome Home Restoration team? Who is behind this? And what purpose does torturing these employees have? Now, I firmly stand with the idea that the question answerer could possibly, you know, have some sort of part in this. I do think that the employees could be sacrifices to a potentially dangerous being. And I think maybe the dangerous being is home. But I don't know. I'm just wondering, the page did say coming soon, so I'm wondering what that could possibly be? I don't know. There's just so much. There's so much going on and I'm so excited for this. And also I'm very curious about the thing with Eddie. Now I'm wondering if that's because maybe his soul, his human soul, he was like becoming aware. Like there's a human soul trapped inside of these puppets. Maybe in that commercial, he was just kind of like, whoa, like where am I? This is not where I'm supposed to be because he realizes that, oh, he's actually a human and not a puppet. Like this is weird. This is not where I'm supposed to be. If that makes any sense. I don't know. But yes, I'm very, very, very excited to see where the welcome home story goes next. I was really excited. I think in my last fan theory video, I did say my prediction for the website is where we were gonna learn a little bit more about the puppets and the employees. And hey, I was right, yay. But yeah, this has been an absolute blast. I was so excited for this update. Literally, like you probably can tell by my outfit, I was freaking ready for this. Again, there's so much hard work and so much love goes into this project. I just, I'm in awe. You guys are freaking amazing. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. If you guys have any theories regarding this new welcome home update, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will possibly make another video going through your fan theories as well. So be sure to leave a comment if you wanna be included. And of course, as always, if there's anything I missed, please let me know in the comment section. I would love to do a follow-up. And trust me, there will be more welcome home content coming in the near future. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Peace out, Brussels sprouts.